Hey guys, in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to play PlayStation games on the Windows PC. To start off, go to your web browser and type in emulatorzone.com. You should see a page like this come up. Now on the left sidebar under the Sony category, press Sony PlayStation. Now scroll down to see the list of emulators. EPSXE is the best one, so click it. And then scroll down to see the download link. Press it and now it will download. Go to where you keep your downloads. Now before you extract it, you have to create a new folder to place all the extracted files inside. So I'll call it EPSXE. Place the archive inside that folder. And now you can extract it. If you see these files come up, you can now delete the archive. So now you have the emulator, but it's not set up with any of the plugins or BIOS. First you need to download the BIOS. So go to your web browser and go to this link found in the description. So click it and now it will download. Extract the file and drag it inside the BIOS folder inside the folder you created earlier. So now you have the BIOS. Now you need the graphics plugin so go back to your web browser and go to list this link also found in the description. Scroll down and then you, when you see Pete's OpenGL2 PSX GPU click this and it will download so go to it and extract it this is the only file you'll need so you drag it into the plugins and you can delete everything else so now you have to set up the plugins so go to the application and you should see this window open up then go to config and wizard guide press config and make sure this is selected, then next, then this, next, next, next. And now you can select your controller configuration if you want, but for this tutorial, I'll just keep them at the default. So then click next, and now done. Alright, so now your emulator is working, but you don't have any game ROMs to use. So to get those, go to your web browser, open a new tab, and go to romhustler.net. Then on the left sidebar, scroll down and click Sony PlayStation. Then you can scroll down and press all to see the list of all the game ROMs that they have. So for this tutorial, I'll be downloading Gran Turismo. So you have to find that on the list, and you can see here. So you click it, and it'll take you to the download page. And you just press click here to download this ROM, and you have to wait 8 seconds for the link to appear. Alright, so now I have to press download. So this part takes a while, so I'll get back to you once it's done. Alright, so now the file is downloaded and you have to extract it. So go find the file and extract here. Okay, so delete the archive and open up the folder. So now you have these three files. This is the only one you need, so you can delete the other ones. And now you need to place to store all your game ROMs. So go to your desktop, get a new folder, and you can call it PlayStation ROMs. Drag the file into that folder. And I can close this folder. So I'll go back to EPSXE and go to File, Run ISO, and see I already have it set up to go to that. So PlayStation ROMs. So now you see this. So to play it, you have to press Open. So now you can play the game with the controls that you set up. So these steps can be followed for any game you wish to play, so thanks for watching and I hope you have fun playing PlayStation games on your Windows PC.